Hello and welcome. In this demo, we'll go over how everything works in Clockify. To start using Clockify, log in online from your browser. On the tracker page, you can type what you're working on and start the timer. Then stop the timer to create a time entry for that activity. You can also categorize time by project and task, add tags, mark time as billable, and edit existing entries by clicking on what you wish to edit. To restart a timer for some activity, click on its continue button. You can also add time manually by changing to manual mode here. You can track time in the browser or install the Clockify app on your computer or phone and use features like idle detection, reminders, offline mode, and more. All your track time will appear in the calendar so you can see if you have gaps in your day or overlaps and directly edit the time. Another way to log time is to use the timesheet. Just select a project or a task and then enter time in the cells. You can also hover over a cell and click here to add more information. You can navigate to other weeks here and save and reuse templates to quickly load activities. Tracker, timesheet and calendar share the same data so you can use whichever you prefer. The dashboard shows you a visual breakdown of your track time at a glance. You can select team to see all time instead, plus see what others are currently working on. For further analysis, you can use reports. The summary report shows you all time broken down by week. Or you can choose a week, month or some other custom period. Below the bar chart, you can see the breakdown by project. You can choose some other grouping like user and breakdown time even further using subgroups like date, for example. If you want to see time just for a particular user or a client, you can use filters. The detailed report shows you everyone's individual time entries, which you can edit by clicking on them. And finally, the weekly report shows you a timesheet-like breakdown by user and project. You can download any report in PDF, CSV and Excel or create a link to the report and share it with others. On the projects page, you can create projects to better categorize time, archive the ones you no longer need and open them for more options. In the Projects Task tab, you can add tasks so users can subcategorize their activity, select who can track time on a task, set estimates and mark tasks as done. In the Access tab, you can set the project as public so everyone can track time on it. Or make it private so only people who are added here can see it. You can also make someone a project manager and then they can see all track time on the project and edit the project. In the status tab, you can compare the estimated versus track time and track progress. In the note tab, you can enter custom information like documentation and links. And in settings, you can change the project name, categorize it by client, change the project color and set its estimate and hourly rate. On the team page, you can add new members by email, after which they'll get an email invitation to create an account and track time in your workspace. You can also set billable rates for members, make someone an admin and deactivate someone's access. In the groups tab, you can create groups and add users to them, so you can later grant access to a project to multiple users via a group. In workspace settings, you can turn on the timesheet page, set who can do what and more. 
In profile settings, you can change your name and email and set personal preferences like time grouping and date and time formats. When you hover over here, you can switch to a different workspace if you have more than one or log out. Clockify has a lot more features like locking timesheets, approvals and invoicing, which you can get by upgrading your workspace to one of the paid plans. You can try out all the additional features for free by activating a 7-day trial, no credit card required. For more information, visit our help centre to see documentation and in-depth tutorials or send us an email via our contact form.